so guys you can see the moisture level being shown is like 24 let me zoom in see it's like 24 for the most muddy one so our formula works in such a way that the higher the moisture the lower will be the percentage so i take it out see now it's out i clean the sensor okay it's cleaned see it has risen to like 60 like we had calculated that at 60 65 it's in the open air so that's perfect it's following our formula now we go for this half moist and half uh, normal dusty and see what happens now see again the level is falling on the screen look at the screen it is following our formula let me zoom in see it is falling but at certain point it will stop let it fall 39 38 see 33 32 32 31 okay this is it so it means that for the half moist is 31 or 30 but it's now stopped it will not go like maximum it will go to 30 or 29 so it means that we have found our climax for this like it takes like 30 to 40 seconds to get to the value again i take it out and i place it in the most muddy one let me clean it as well okay it's clean see again the value is up to 60 now again i go in that one let me place it here so where there is mud again the value is falling and this time it should fall below 310 to verify our formula that the more the moist the soil is the lower will be the percentage so let's see what happens it has to go below but it went for this one let's see it's falling 42 it stopped like at 30 or 31 so we take it like 29 even better like it stopped we call it like that stopped at 29 now this have to go below 29 to verify our formula so it's uh, 31 it has reached the same level now it have to go below this to verify our formula is correct so it has fallen below that see 28 27 it will stop like below that value so see that so this is following our formula now i take it out again i clean it So it's cleaned. See again it has went up to 60. Now we go for the dry one. So again the dry one is like above 50. So that's it guys. Hello guys. Welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a soil moisture measurement or you can call it a detection system using pic 16 fa 7 a and cheap capacitive soil moisture sensor so let's get started so guys this is our pic 16 fa 7 a having 40 pins it's a dip version and this is a soil moisture detection sensor i am talking about it's easily available in the market and it is very cheap so let's get started as you can see it has three pins and they are labeled as well but i'm again going to label them for you the top one is a ground then we have vcc and then we have a out a out means it's an adc analog output pin so to read this pin we are gonna need the adc pin of a pick so let's do the connections so guys a out pin you directly connect to the picks any available adc pin i'm gonna use a pin number a0 for this now guys for the vcc connected to the vcc of the pick ground connected to the ground of the pick now guys let's uh, for the output purpose we are gonna use the 16 cross 2 lcd 
uh, and it has 16 pins from left to right if you hold it like this but to adjust the contrast we will also need a 10 kilo ohm variable resistor that's how we normally connect the 16 cross 2 lcd with a pick so let's do the connection as you can see this variable resistor has three pins mentioned on its body as well one two and three like this now guys on the lcd you have 16 pins one to 16 from left to right if you hold it like this then guys you common the one pin number one and five of the lcd then you common it with the pin number one of your variable resistor and then you send it to the common ground of the pick like this in this way your lcd gets grounded and your uh, potentiometer gets crowded now guys for the pin number three that is the adjustable contrast pin connected to the adjustable pin of your potentiometer that is pin number two like this then guys pin number two of your lcd will go to the vcc pin of the pick along with pin number three of the potentiometer in this way your lcd gets the five volt and your potentiometer gets the five volt from the pick now guys pin number four is the uh, reset pin for this RS pin, you can connect it to any available digital input output pin of the pick, whichever is available. In my case, I have pin number C0 available, so I am going to connect it to the pin number 15, that is pin number C0 of the pick like this. Then pin number 6 of the LCD is the enable pin. Again, you can use any available digital input output pin. I am going to use the pin number 16. For data pin 4, that is pin number 11 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number C2, that is pin number 17. For data pin 5, that is pin number 12 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number D2 of the pick, that is pin number 21 of the pick. Now guys, for the data pin 6, that is pin number 13 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number 22 of the pick. Now for the data pin four, 7, data pin 7, that is a pin number 14 of the LCD, I am going to use the pin number C4 of the pick like this. In this way, my digital input output pins are connected and RSA enable pins are connected to the pick. Now guys, these pin number 15 and 16, they are for the LCD backlight. If your LCD has a backlight, only then you will use these pins, else you will not connect the pin number 15 and 16 of the LCD. So, I, my LCD do have a backlight, so I connect the pin number 15 to the VCC and 16 to the ground like this. This will turn on the backlight. Now, these four pins, 7, 8, 9, 10, they are for the 8-bit mode, while we are using this LCD in the 4-bit mode, so we don't need them. So, simply leave them. Now guys, let me introduce you to the hardware. So this over here is the hardware guys. As you can see, I have three cups here. This is completely dry. See, this is completely dry. Let me erase and turn off the previous program like this. Now guys, this is completely dry. It has no water in it. This is just dry soil. Then this has somewhat moisture in it, but not too much. See, it is dry at the bottom and some moisture on the top. Then guys, this is completely wet. It's like, see, this is very moist. So guys, uh, we will test them one by one and see what results we get on the LCD. And this is the LCD. This is our sensor. You can see that it's the same as shown in the presentation. And this is our PIC 16 fa 77 a microcontroller, 140 pins inside the IP variant. How to set up this hardware? I have a special video on that. That's a prerequisite video to all of my other videos. I will share the link of that video in the description of this video as well. So don't worry about it as well. So guys, let's get to the micro C for pick to start the coding. So this is our micro C for pick. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Let me turn on the magnifier. So guys, as you can see, this is version 7.2.0. I'm going to use here. You can use the latest version. Latest is always better. If later is available, just use that. Click on File, New, New Project. This window pops up, New Project Wizard. Click on Next. Write the name of the project. I write Soil Moisture Detection System by Learning Microcontroller tutorial that's the name of the project i wrote select like the path where you want to create the hex file and store the c files select the device i'm going to use a pic 16 fa 7 a and the clock speed is 20 megahertz like this now guys this clock is basically the crystal connected to the pin number 13 and 14 of the pick click on next and finish then guys this window pops up before you do anything else first of all save your work press ctrl s it's saved now go to the right, select the libraries. So first of all, we will need the ADC library for the sensor because it's gave output in ADC form. Then we cannot display the integers coming from the sensor. AD analog value will be converted to the digital value. 
digital value will be the integers or anything we want but we cannot display the integers or floats directly on the LCD. We will need to convert that to the string. For that we will need the conversion library. Now this is the LCD so we will also need the LCD library. So first of all we initialize the LCD. This is LCD INIT command double click on it and here in the example here you have these lines copy them till here only here don't go below this and then you go back and paste it above the void main like this. Now guys here you can see he is talking about the RS pin in the pinout setting. For RS he is saying V4 while we had set C0 as shown in the presentation. For enable we are using C1. For data pin 4 we are using C4. For data pin 6 let us look at the presentation. What is the pin we are using for the C4? Okay. For C4 data pin 7 is the C4. D3 is D6. D5 is D2. So D3 and D2. Let us get back. So this is D3 and this is D2 and D4 is our C2 like this. So C0 is for RS, C1 is for E enable, C4 data pin 7, D6, D3, D2 for D5. Recheck. Okay, D4 is C2, D5 is D2, D6, D3 and then we have C4. So check again C2, D2, D3, C4 that is perfect. Now guys do the same here for the pin direction again for RS we have C0 just follow the above sequence C0 then we have C1 for EN, C1 then we for the data pin 7 we are having C4 for data pin 6 it is D3 for data pin 5 it is D2. For data pin 4, it is C2 like this. It is D2. Make it perfect. C0, C1, C4, C0, C1, C4, D3, D2, C2, D3, D2, C2. Okay, that is perfect. Now, guys, again go back to the LCD INIT library here. Now, here below this is this command LCD INIT. You copy it. Go back. Paste it up below the void pane like this. Give some initialization delay. Now the LCD is initialized. You don't have to separately give all of these pins uh, twist C dot F0 equals to 1, 0, 1, 0, etc. Uh, they are already initialized. Pin directions are initialized by default by using this library. Now, guys, our LCD is initialized. Now, what we need? We need to initialize the ADC pins. So go to the ADC library. There is ADC I in IT command. Double click on it. This window pops up. Copy this command in the example. Go back, paste it below it. Now this will initialize all the ADC pins of the pit. Give some initialization delay. This delay is not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop. Now guys, we have our LCD initialized. We have our ADC pins initialized. Now LCD by default have a cursor and I don't want the cursor. If you want the cursor, you can keep it, but I will remove the cursor. So you go to this LCD CMD command this, you copy it. This command will clear the screen of any value. Remove whatever is inside this bracket like this. Go back to the LCD CMD library. Here you have some available LCD command. Look for turn off cursor command. Okay, this command over here turns off the cursor. You copy it, place it inside the brackets like this. Oh, sorry, inside the brackets like this. Now this command will turn off the cursor, give some initialization delay. 10 will do fine. Now guys, our cursor is initialized. Our cursor is also removed. Now we once clear the LCD for the first time, if there are any rag pack values on the screen, they will be cleared using this command. LCD CMD clear. Just paste it here. Now guys, our LCD is initialized, ADC pins is initialized and our LCD is cleared of cursor. We can go to the forever loop, write down while one forever loop starts here and here. Now inside it what we write, first of all we will need to read the value from the sensor so we take a variable, it can be integer or float but take an integer in int well. Now we cannot display this value directly on the LCD, we will need a string to store the value. So we take a string of 5 digits like this. So this will store 
the value converted value this will be the integer value and we will convert it into a string and that will be stored in it an array of char is a string so now first of all when equals to adc underscore read zero okay this is a bracket like this now guys this is a command to read a value from the sensor value means this is an integer which will store the value this is the syntax of the command and zero is the channel this means that I'm, I had connected the sensor to the pin number A0. So that's why I had written a 0 here. The data will come from the channel 0. So we have our uh, value to be read from the channel 0. Now give some delay. Oh, we forgot the columns here. Accidentally I found it. Okay, give some initialization delay. And we'll do fine. Now guys, we will need to display the value on the string. Uh, value on the screen in the form of strings. So go to this command LCD out. This will display the value on the screen. Now what it should display on the screen? We cannot display integers here. So we will need to convert this integer into a string. For that go to the conversion library. Look for the command int to string this command. Double click on it. And in the example here you have this command. Copy it. Go back. Paste it here. Now, whatever the integer which you want to convert, write it here. And in the variable, in the string variable where you want to store it, just take that variable here. This is value 1. Copy it. Place it here. Now, whatever is in the this integer is converted into a string and stored in this variable here. Now, give some initialization delay. So, what we want to display on the screen is this value here. So, whatever is the value 1 will be displayed on the string. This means start writing from the first row and this is the column. Start writing from the first row and first column, but the whatever is the is the value received from the sensor. Now, uh, for how long the value should be displayed on the string screen, I make it like for 250 milliseconds, the value will be displayed on the screen. Then it will clear the screen for the next value. You can overwrite as well, but uh, I will clear the screen. Like this, build the code, check for errors. Let's build it and see what happens. Okay, it's built successfully without errors. Go to the my Picket 3 programmer tool. This is the Picket 3 programmer tool. Click on file, import hex file. This is the file we just created. Click on write. Okay, the file is being written. Let's get to the hardware and see what happens. Okay, the new code is being written. Let's wait for the new code to be written successfully. Okay, the new code is written successfully. I power up the circuit using the Picket 3 programmer tool. Okay, it's powered up. Let me zoom out. Okay, we are getting the values on the screen. As you can see here, we are getting the values 618, 619 when the sensor is ideal. So if there is no moisture, nothing, then we get such values. So this is good. Now I will insert the sensor into the dry cup. So let's see what happens. So it's inserted. You can see that the values has started to change. Take a look at this 419, 418, 390. Now I take it out. And I clean the sensor. See the values has gone up. I again inserted to see if the values were valid. Now again it's inserted. So this time we are getting values like 559, 556. See, it's like 550 for the dry one. Previously, I think sensor was not clean. Again, I clean the sensor. I will do three checks so I can get the valid value. Sensor should be clean for every. Okay, now it's inserted. See, the for the dry one, the value is above 500. Okay, previously that value dropped because the sensor was not clean. Now it's clean. 
see it's like 5 10 5 11 you can see that the values over here 5 11 5 12 5 19 so it's here for the dry one so we know that i write it here i write in a comment here that i write here comment for dry it's 512 approximately now what i do is that i take out the sensor okay it's taken out i clean it again So it's cleaned up. Again, the value by default is like 600. So we found our second value as well. That is by default, it's around 600. So we go back and we add another comment. For open air, I call it. Open air, it's 600. So we go back. Now I place it in this one with some moisture and some dry. Okay, it's plugged in. So the values are dropping as you can see. These values over here are dropping like 450, 432, 433. Okay, let it go down. Let's see where it stops. 391, 373, 376, 70, 34. It's still going down. Okay, I think we have reached the limit. Oh, it's still going down. No, we have reached the limit. It's like 310 or 320, 330. For the half moist so we give it another try to confirm the value so i take it out and i clean it so it's cleaned so it's cleaned now again, see the value is at 600. So by default, it's at 600. So I give it the second test. So we can make a correct calibration. Somewhat the uh, mud also moved, so there can be a difference. So it's falling. Let's see where it stops. Last time it was around 310, 320, 310. This time, let's see. Some mud also moved out, so there can be a problem with that. So again, it has fell to 390, 370, 372, 70, 57. Okay, again, we have fallen like we need, we had ex, uh, uh, some word you can call that we have found our threshold. Again, it has reached 310. Wow, it stopped again. It's a, exactly the same, like between 310 and 320, I can call it. So I go back, I add another comment here that for half moist, it's 310 approximately. So now we go for the muddy one that's fully moist. So let me take it out. So we got value for both of these. Now we go for the third one. Let me clean the sensor. So we have found out that by default it's at 500 and as soon as the value starts to fall, its value also fall. So it's clean. Now what I do is that 
I take it and place it in the third one. Oh, very easy to plug into that one. Okay, again the value is falling. See that it's 554. Five ten, it's falling rapidly. Let's see where it stops. Five seventy four fifty eight, four thirty two eighteen. If it's correct that the moisture the soil is, the lower the value will be, then this must go below three hundred and ten. Then we will exactly know what to do. Okay, it is falling. Three thirty, three sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, twelve. Okay, that's perfect. It has it has gone below 300 for the muddy one. So it means that the higher the moisture is, the lower will be the value. So for the moist one, we now know that it is below, we can call it like below 250, it is most moist. So I add another comment. I add the third comment here for full moist it's below 250 so here what we can find out is that by default it has around it is around 600 and then for lower the value goes the moisture it becomes so we can make a formula out of it so guys, let's make a formula now. So we get to our micro C for pig. We do some simple math before that. Let's take out our calculator. As you know, we will run this in the form of percentage, which will mean that uh, this will be our highest percentage. It will be like 60%, uh, the, whatever the percentage comes out as compared to the IDC. Then lower the percentage goes, this means higher the moisture level is. So that will be a simple formula. So let's make it. So where is the calculator? Okay. This is the calculator. So first of all, we write the highest value that is 650, like we have 650 divided by maximum ADC resolution that is 2 power 10 equals to 1024. So write 1024, enter, okay, multiply it by 100 to make it percentage. So whatever the value is will be divided by 1024. So this will be like dry and it will go down. So the more it goes down, the higher will be the moisture level. Uh, so that's simple as that. You can play with the code, you can make different formulas. I will make only one. So we take another variable called calibrator, int calibrator. You can play with the code. I will give you this code in the description of this video. So don't worry about that. So I take calibrator equals to whatever the value is divided by to maximum resolution that is 1024 and also add a point 0 because the value we are getting from the sensor is in the float now divided by oh sorry multiplied by 100 just like we find percentage simple as that also add a 0 here because our value will be in float but uh, we will only display the integers so that's all so now instead of uh, converting this to string we convert the calibrated value to string make it calibrated calibrated to string then what is the calibrated value will be displayed on the screen and on the second row we display we write uh, or on the first row 15th column uh, we display the percentage symbol that it's now percentage not the actual value coming from the sensor so that's what we are going to do here so this will be percentage will be displayed at the last point of the first row now on the second row we display start writing from the second row first column uh, soil moist level level so lower the percentage means higher will be the soil moisture so let's build it you can play with the code you will make math you can make the ma mathematics better i know you guys have better skill than i have for the math so let's zoom build the code and zoom out it's built successfully let me zoom out okay where is the magnifier here it is okay let's burn it into the microcontroller 
okay file i select the file again i think i had deselected the file i click on write okay the new code is being written let's get to the hardware to see what we get now so guys it's uh, already plugged in into the most uh, moist okay that's nice thing we are seeing here okay it says nine percent so i told you the lower the percentage higher will be the soil moisture so that's fine now i take it out i take it out see the percentage is changing let me clean it up okay let's clean it okay it's clean see it has risen to like i told you i had set the value like in the dryer it will be like 60 to 65 so now we again plug it into the dry one dry soil see it has dropped somewhat but not too much so it means soil moisture level is not too high so i take it out now again it has returned and we go in the somewhat wet not too wet i plug it in see the moisture level is dropping let it reach some value see that lower the percentage higher will be the moisture level as per this formula you can change the formula in the code that's up to you you can design whatever you want with it see it is falling let it reach some value like lower the value higher will be the moisture level let it calculate it so it stopped like it was previously as well when we commented it so it was it was here like nearby it was like we set it here for half moisture it's like 310 so that's perfect again it's perfect so let's get back okay now it's again the same so it is showing a stable constant value that's a great sensor in that case at this cost let's go for the most uh, muddy one no need to clean it just plug it in like this now see what we get here it should fall below 300 to verify our formula that lower the percentage higher will be the moisture level so let it go down okay go oh yes that's great it's falling previously it was like uh, it stopped at 9200 let's see where it stops so it has fallen and it is falling our formula that lower the moisture level higher will be the percentage that is exactly what this is doing so guys this is it this is how you can make a moisture level detection system using pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller so i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment so guys the code will be in the description of this video thank you very much for your time and patience and have a nice day and see you in the next video